I'm an endocrinologist uh, at Mass General Hospital, and um, my uh, clinical focus in endocrinology is on um, uh, osteoporosis and metabolic bone diseases. My clinical practice has kind of taught me pretty quickly that the uh, existing therapies that we have for osteoporosis are limited. There's a clear kind of unmet medical need uh, to develop new therapies for osteoporosis to do a better job at building bone and uh, to lowering the risk of fractures in our um, elderly population. So the only new bone anabolic therapy that we have is uh, a parathyroid hormone, which is a hormone uh, that our body normally makes, and if you give a, give a little bit more of it once a day by a subcutaneous injection, that leads to new bone formation. The problem is that osteoporosis is a chronic disease, and it's asymptomatic, so there's a pretty high burden uh, to convince our patients to give themselves a shot every day to build bone mass. What the work with the Harrington Foundation is, is to further develop that compound to see if we can make it more effective to understand what the risks of inhibiting this kinase might be over the long run and to see if we can turn this into a therapy for osteoporosis. The Harrington Discovery Institute plays a huge role in our efforts uh, to, to move this translational project forward. Um, my training um, is in medicine and in basic science, not in drug discovery. It turns out that the discoveries that we made in the lab have some implications for drug development, but that's not really what I know how to do, and so we need help. I would say that our best case scenario is that with the support from the Harrington Discovery Institute, we're able to turn sick inhibitors from an idea and a series of tool compounds into a drug that we can um, use for my patients with osteoporosis.